We are ready to start. Okay, we are going to start pretty soon because it's time, it's time already for the class. Hello, Jenny. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you tonight? Very fine. Great, excellent. Glad to see you. Okay. Cesar, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Cesar. How are you? Very fine, and you? Fine too. Thanks. I'm fine. Good. Ready. Excellent. Excellent. I'm ready. You're ready to start class? Yes. Ready. Okay. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's the attitude. Yes. That's the way. Today we finish the week. How are you in the platform? Are you finished, uh, Cesar? Uh, no. The, the activity of yesterday, uh, I know finished, but I Tonight I finish uh, all activities. Okay, the other way around. Yesterday's activities. Yesterday activities. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Andres. How are you? 
I think he didn't listen to me. So Jenny, what about you? How are you in the platform? I, today I went to the office, today. Mm -hmm. So have you worked in the platform, the homework? Todavía no, no he terminado, I have not finished. Yet. 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 I have not finished yet. Okay, I not okay. I have I have not finished yet. Exactly. Yet means um, I have not finished yet. Okay. Or you can say I am not finished yet. Hello, Jose. How are you? Okay, let's see. He's having problems. Now, let's see. Well, today we are finishing the second week. Uh, remember that you need to do the midterm. Midterm exam today. Okay, don't forget that. The midterm exam, el examen de medio curso, it's today. In the platform, it appears like that. If you check out the platform, uh, after the video conference number one, what you get is Uh, homework nine, and after homework nine, oh, I'm sorry, you get homework 10, that's just five questions. And after homework 10, appears the new term exam. The new term exam, it's not difficult because it's just little things that we have been working on during this week. Hey, look, there's Marcos. Hello, Marcos. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Marcos. Anna, hello. How are you? Hello. Good good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I can see that Anna is very casual today. She is looking very casual. That's good. Good. There's... Hey, everybody's connecting. That's great. That's great. Yes. Yes. Hey, Vicente, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, very good. Great, excellent. And tell me, Vicente, how was your day? A good day, a bad day, a heavy day? So, so. So, so. Uh, heavy day. Carlos? Heavy day. Okay. Hey, there's Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Yes. Hello, teacher. How are you, Carlos? It is rain, raining. Acá. Yeah, it is raining here too. It is raining here. Remember, here. That means acá. Okay. Here, it is raining here. 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 Okay. 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 Well, let's start. Let's see. Uh, some people is reporting. Carla says that she's going to connect later. And we will see the rest because it's 
time already. We are past the time to start. Okay. Now let's see. So Cesar, tell me, how was your day? Routines or something special happened? Tell me. Uh, today are uh, routines. Routines? routines. Okay. Yes. Tell me what were I, the routines. Uh, I I visit uh, to my clients. I visit a project in uh, uh, for a uh, maintenance. Where? I uh, supervisor the ma supervisor. Uh, maintenance. Supervisor mantenimiento. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance supervisor. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. 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 Where? Uh, in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, 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 no, in San in San Salvador. Hey, that's nice. In San that's Salvador. Nice. Uh, uh, and and watch the the. <laughs> the football. <laughs> so, soccer. Soccer. If you are speaking in, in American English, it is soccer. In the United States, this is soccer. If you are oh, okay. in England or Europe, it is football. Okay? Just in the United States, okay. is soccer. In the rest of the world, football. Oh yeah, I oh. remember, I remember. Nice game. It was terrible. Okay, I, get, I play the Barcelona versus Manchester. <laughs> yeah. An interesting game. I see that Andres is smiling. Andre, Andre is very happy. Andres, oh, yes. very happy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> yes, uh, they played with uh, elimination of Barcelona with the Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Yeah, it was terrible. But that's soccer. That's the way it is. Yeah, and, and what about change the change the routine of the working? Yeah, yeah. a little change on the routine. What about you, Jenny? Do you support soccer? Uh, I like soccer. Yes, do you? Yes, or repeat? No? Do you support? Any soccer team? Yes, yes. Oh, interesting. What's your team? Eh, Barcelona. Ouch. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry for you. Okay, what about you, Marcos? Do you play any sport? No, teacher. Do you, you don't play any sport? No juega? You don't practice sport? No, no juego. I don't practice. I don't practice. Okay. What about you, Cesar? Do you practice any sport? Uh, yes, but today not eh, tanto como antes, como se dice. Not as much as before. As, as much as before. Ah, okay. Yeah, not as much as before. No tanto okay. como antes. Yeah, I think, I mean, the daily routines, they take up time. And what sports do you practice? Uh, sorry, sorry. 
Eh, que se, se lo ve entrecortado, se lo ve entrecortado. Ok, no le entiendo, no se lo entiendo muy bien. What sports do you practice? Uh, eh, soccer, soccer. Um, in, in my uh, job, yes. eh, basketball. Oh, basketball too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like basketball. I yes. used to play basketball and volleyball mm -hmm. and badminton. Ah, okay. But many years ago. Yes, uh, me too. I, I play in, in the high school. <laughs> yeah, a long while ago. What about you, Alfred? Do you practice sports? No, I watch the sport. The practice. Uh, no, much. Okay, thank you. My, uh, this uh, practice more the uh, sport with the tooth. <laughs> okay, you'll see it. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Thank you, Andres. What about you, Jenny? Do you like sports? No, le escuché. Se le fue corto. Do you practice any sport? Uh, I don't practice. You don't? But I like to run. Oh. Perhaps, perhaps you mean... Un deporte jogging? no, pero sí me gusta correr. Mm -hmm. Jogging. Lo hacía, okay. Lo hacía antes de la cuarentena, después ya... Yeah. Ya, ya a no different situation. A different situation. Yes. That's okay. called jogging, jogging. Jogging is correr. Yes. When you do it as an exercise, it's jogging. Okay? Um, all right. Okay. And Carlos, what about you? Do you like sports? Do you practice any sport? Uh, not as much as before. As before, yeah, I understand. But what sport do you like? I do basketball, tell me. Also. Basket basketball. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. Basketball is cool. It's nice. So, Vicente, do you practice any sport? Sorry, teacher, for a bit, please. Hold on. Do you practice any sport, Vicente? No, no. Uh, as many years before, yes. Okay. What sport did you practice? Uh, soccer and baseball. Oh, baseball. Interesting. Baseball is yes. cool. Jennifer, hello. Yes. How are you? Hello there, everybody. Good evening, Jennifer. Hello, hello. good evening. Hello. Tell me, Jennifer. Do you practice sports? No, teacher. Nothing. Nothing. Just eating. Nothing. <laughs> yes. Uh, so much. <laughs> yeah. I can understand. Everyday life is difficult and sometimes it takes a lot of time. In my case, I don't practice sports no more, but I, well, before this, I used to go to the gym. But now with this situation, uh, 
Sometimes I exercise at home. It's In more difficult. Case, yes. yes. In my case, right now, due to the quarantine, I exercise at home because it's easier. But it's different. It's not like practicing a sport, a specific sport. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Just let me see if everybody's coming. We are missing some people. We are missing Erica. We are missing Carla. We are missing Mayra. We are missing Maybelline, Julio. Yeah, we are missing some guys. But anyway, today we are going to review uh, daily routines. Again, we are going to work with the manual on pages. Uh, let me see, pages 27 and 28 from the manual. So be ready because we are going to work with them. We are going to talk about daily routines again, about your daily routines. But today we are going to focus on two different ones. Daily routines in your job and daily routines on a weekend in your house. Because it's different, like uh, on a Sunday. What do you do on a Sunday? It's something different like in my case on Sundays uh, I wake up I wake up late usually I mean every day I wake up around six but on Sundays uh, I stay in bed a little bit later so I wake up around seven or eight Sundays and I wake up and I go to the sofa and I start watching TV or perhaps checking the cell phone, stuff like that. Different than on a weekday. Uh, on a Sunday, actually, what I do is that in the morning I help around the house, but Sundays afternoon, usually I prepare the week classes. So every Sunday in the afternoon, I am preparing classes. And sometimes uh, before this, we used to go out perhaps on a Sunday to visit some relatives. So as you can see, the activities are different from a normal day, a work day is different than what you do on a weekend. Remember work day in my case are, well, it depends because before the quarantine, I used to work from the whole week. I used to teach classes uh, from Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday too. So it's a little bit different. The routine, it changes. What about you, Cesar? Tell me, how is a Sunday for you? Uh, okay. Uh well, on Sunday, my daughter wake me up uh, early. <laughs> oh, really? She 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 wake me. <laughs> At what time? Early. At uh, six or oh, seven oh. a.m. <laughs> so sorry. I, I can't sleep more. <laughs> oh. yeah, I can uh, so can I, I, I sorry, oversleep. Oversleep. Yes, that's uh, dormir de okay. más, dormir más tiempo, oversleep. Okay. So on Sundays, you cannot oversleep. 
because of your daughter. Wow. Okay. Uh, on weekends too, uh, I pre prepare the breakfast. Oh, good. For, for my family. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Uh, excellent. And I, I go shopping at the market. Okay. And what's your specialty when you are cooking, Cesar? Uh, beans. <laughs> eggs. Eggs. <laughs> the typical food. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I can I can I can cook uh, cook uh, uh, other foods, uh, salts and spaghetti, uh, meat, soup, chicken. Hmm? Right, <laughs> I don't intend. Okay. <laughs> great, that's great, that's great, that's excellent. In my case. I cannot cook. I cannot cook at all. In my case, my wife cooks for me because uh, I'm not good at it. Thank you, Cesar. What about you, Jenny? Tell me, what do you do on a Sunday? On Sunday, I wake up. Uh, I do home homework homework, homework. and what uh, tareas del hogar house chores look at the chat house chores house chores yes i do house chores in the day and um, later i watch tv Okay. Yeah, I I prepared the lunch for my family. Okay. Tell me, what do you like to cook? What's your specialty? Mm -hmm. eh, Siempre yo. Yes. Es, eh, I I cook chicken. I cook. Me, uh, I like to much uh, soap the beans. Okay, great. And tell me, what about what about um, dessert? How do you do? You like to prepare dessert? <clears throat> or pastry? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, like, uh, I don't know, cupcakes, like, uh, or a little bread, like a little tiramisu or something like that. Do you prefer something like that? Danny, can you hear me? Uh, only hot cakes. Only hot cakes. What about you? Uh... Okay, I. Uh... Yes, tell me, tell me. Yeah. Arroz con leche. Oh, great, great. <laughs> with milk, no sé. <laughs> rice Ooh. with milk. Yeah, that's nice. What about you, Marcos? Do you cook? Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Do you cook? Cocina? Uh, coffee, nada más. Only coffee. <laughs> Just coffee. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks. That's great. That's great. I mean, something is something. Being so, so maruchan. Ah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Then you are like me. You are like me. That's the thing. Very practice, Marco. Yeah. You need to practice more.
Okay, let's see. Jennifer. Hello. Tell me, Jennifer, do you like cooking? Yes. Okay, what's your specialty? What do you like to cook? Salad food? Comida salada, como se dice? Salty. Uh -huh. Salty food, eh, lasagna, eh, chicken. Eh. Oh. I, I know. Lasagna, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right. You need to invite everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Andres says, I'm in. Andres dice, me apunto. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. What about pastries, dessert? Mm. Postre. What's your favorite dessert, Jenny? Jennifer? Um, no, I don't like it. So, no me gustan mucho los postres. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Well, thank no, you very no much. me gustan las cosas muy dulces. No sé cómo se oh, dice eso. Sweet things, sweet pastries. Sweet pastries. Yeah, she doesn't like sweets. That's understandable. And mm. what about you, Vicente? Mm. Do you cook? Um, yes, but only eggs. Okay, just eggs. Mm, that happened. Well, it's food, a comida. It counts. Yes. Yeah, because in my case, I cannot even prepare a, an egg. En mi caso, ni eso puedo. So, you are ahead of me. Está más adelante de mí. Okay, let's see. What about you, Iliana? Are you a cooker? Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, tell us what's your specialty. What do you like to cook? Chicken soup. Okay. <laughs> Sopa de pollo. That's good. As long as it's not gallina, it's okay. I hate gallina, India. Okay. Okay, and what about desserts? Do you like desserts? Mm. Um, uh, sweet, sweet, sweet health meal, creo que se dice. What's that? Es carne, sí. pues. O sea. Oh. Meat. Okay, I got yes. I got one I got one for you guys. Uh, look at these words in the chat. Sweet bread. Do you know what is sweet bread? Who knows what's sweet bread? Quién sabe qué es. And dulce. Yes, and something pan, else? Pan dulce. But it can be used for something else too. También puede ser utilizada para algo más. Repostería. Mm, something very different. No. Pretty different. Do you know sweet bread is mojeja? You say it sweet bread, oh. and it means molleja, the pollo. Oh. Oh. Yeah, for real. 
Yeah, it's like, uh, how do you say uh, pechuga? Do you know that? That chicken breast. When you say breast, you are saying pechuga. It's something different, no? When we talk about food, it's very different. It's like eggs. Cesar, tell me, how do you like your eggs? Eggs? Yes, Huevos. how do you like them? Yes? I, uh, este, picado, como se dice? Scramble. 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 Oh, okay. I Rumble. like them scrambled, but I also like them like this. Look, sunny side up. Do you know what's that? Sunny side up. Uh, what, what is this? What it is? Estrellados. Look at the chat. In the chat, I right. put it for you. Then in the chat, I lo escrito. Sunny side up. Okay. That's something okay. different. No? In the chat, lo escrito, Jen. I don't watch. Ready? Let's see. Then, uh, let me see. Teacher, but, but, um, uh, uh, sunny side up uh, is uh, used only for X. Yes. Sunny side up. Okay. When you're talking about food, there are different expressions. Like, uh, what I can tell you that some people like the, the meat, they like it well done. Another way to say estrellados, it's easy over. Otra manera de decir huevos estrellados es easy, easy over. over. Easy over. Yes. Or some people say it the other way around, over easy. Some people say over easy. Which is kind of... Uh, Weird, no? It's like, uh, let's see, how do you like your meat? How do you like your meat? Look at the chat. The question is, how do you like your meat? Sure. ¿Pero eso se refiere a la preparación o al término? Término. Ok. So, how do you like your meat, uh, Andrés? ¿La carne? Sí, how. No sé cómo se dice término medio. Oh, half, 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 yes, half, half, or you can say medium term, medium term, okay. what about you, Cesar, how do you like it? Uh, medium term, too. Okay, another way, 
Some people like it. Three uh, quarters. Some people like it, yeah, three quarters. Or some people like it well done. Well done is Sería like dead. Bien cocido. Okay. Yes. In my case, I like it almost rare. My term what? or meat is rare. ¿Qué significa? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Here you could say roja. Ah. Like uh, 20, 30 seconds, one side, and then flip it over 20, 30 seconds, and that's it. That's for me. Okay. So I like my I like my meat juicy, red. So if you see, we are talking about something completely different, but still using simple present. You say I like, I eat, I prefer, and we are still using the simple present tense. Which, that's the idea, that we use it in different contexts. Of course, right now we have to focus on how to use the simple present when talking about daily routine. And remember, today we are going to practice about that, daily routine, okay? Let's see. Right now we are going to watch from the manual a, a small exercise. I need you to please but remember we are working. We are going to work today pages 27, 28 from the manual. I'm going to go over the exercise and we are going to have a small conversation about this. So in the case in the first exercise we are going to do this. Look you will ask different partners what each of the occupation does at the workplace. Look at the occupations. We got software engineer, human resource specialist, financial analyst, insurance agent, bookkeeper, digital marketing manager. Okay, what's the question? The question is going to be in the, in the breakout rooms, I'm going to take you to the breakout rooms, and you are going to go to make this question to your classmates. You are going to ask, uh, perhaps Cesar is working with Jenny and he is going to tell, hey, Jenny, tell me, what does a software engineer does? do? What does a human resource specialist do? What does a financial analyst do? Okay. Do you understand the questions? Sorry. It's according to the exercise, according to the, to the video we have, to the, I'm sorry, according to what appears on the manual. Look, remember, what you are going to use is Hold on, where did it go? It's right here. Remember, you will have the occupation and you are going to ask your partner, what does a software engineer do? Like Cesar, tell me, what does an insurance agent do? Uh, uh, insurance insurance angel, agent uh, um, support como uh, idea <laughs> porque es como gente de seguro ¿va? yes uh -huh. uh, insurance uh, people for an accident okay. or Companies too. 
Okay, excellent. Now, if you remember from page 19, uh, an insurance agent helps people and companies against financial loss and manage risk. In page 19, we have exactly that information. The answers are there. So I need you to please work using the manual, okay? You ready, guys? Or in your case, because I know that your companies are different. Perhaps they don't have all that, all those uh, specialists or all those professions in your company. Puede ser que su compañía no tenga personal de esas profesiones. You can talk about people that work in your company that you know the activities they do. Like in the case of Cesar, he tells me that he has to supervise uh, maintenance. So he has to supervise technicians. Am I right, Cesar? Yes. Okay, then. What you can explain to your partner, what you can explain to your partner is what does a technician do in your company, which can be different uh, in Jennifer's company. I mean, a technician in Cesar's company does something different than in Jennifer's company, right? Puede ser que un técnico en la compañía donde está Cesar haga un trabajo diferente que donde está Jennifer. So. Let's do it like this. Instead of looking at those professions, let's talk about people that work in our companies, okay? En lugar de hablar sobre otras compañías, vamos a hablar sobre lo que hace la gente en nuestra compañía. Like in Marcos' company, uh, people work with uh, security cameras, I remember. So yes. he will talk, he can talk about that. What do the technicians in his company do? And that's easy because you are a technician, no, Marcos? Yes. Perfect. So let's do it. I'm going to take you there so we can work. Let's see. Okay, guys. Please join the breakout room. Are you connecting already? Yes, yes, yes. I guess everybody's connecting. Yes. Entonces, creo que eso sería lo que, lo que él... Teacher. Yes. Eh, solo para ver si estamos claros. Este, yes, tell me. Necesita, necesita que, que platiquemos sobre las ocupaciones o sobre los roles de la, de la empresa donde trabajamos. Por ejemplo, en My Company... Eh, work in eh, security electronic entonces trabajamos en seguridad electrónica eh, electronic trabajamos en security el, electronic security entonces así sería verdad la, la, yes. la you describe you describe the activity you describe for our partners. Yeah, exactly that. Okay. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. En equipos analizadores de harina dan servicio. 
en English, please. Los ingenieros. Ajá. So, Jenny. Hola. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. So, remember, what you are going to do is to talk about the activities somebody else do at your company. Usted me va a hablar sobre la actividad que alguien más de su compañía hace. Ok. Not yours. Somebody else. Ok. No, no. O sea, no, yo estaba diciendo lo que hacen los demás, que dan eh, service and equipment, the floor and eh, Analyzer, o sea, dan servicio a equipos analizadores de harina. Oh, really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Ok. That's new for me. Ok, sí, continue. Sí, I work with molinos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trabajamos con molinos. Do you know how to say molinos? Uh, no les... No listen. No, I don't listen. Do you know how to say Molinos? Uh, Molinos in the Central American Caribbean. Uh, in El Salvador, uh, with Molinos San Juan, Molinos Modernos, Molsa. Okay, but... What I'm asking you is, do you know how to say molinos in English? Um, meal. 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 Means molinos. Okay? Mm -hmm. Meal. So you meals. Work with meals. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Continue. Okay. Seguimos. Jennifer. Ok. Jennifer, what does a uh, uh, financial analysis, analysis? Service wet. Attention wet. Uh, attention to wet. Teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Este, por ejemplo, en el área de hotelería y turismo, botones, ¿cómo se dice? Los botones, digamos, los que atienden a los huéspedes cuando llegan. ¿Cómo es escribir? Tension. Bellboy. Bellboy. Ah, thank you. You're Bell welcome. Ah. Ay. Any other question? No, teacher. Okay, continue. Two minutes, just two minutes. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Ingeniero es de sistema. Ingeniero de sistema, ajá. Ingeniero de sistema es, es eso de que controla todas las, las computadoras de la empresa, ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, en ese caso sería ley. como install Mantén different software of computer and uh, oh, mantenimiento de software también de la empresa, ¿verdad? Yes, maintenance software. And maintenance. Hardware. maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Uh, and the uh, visit uh, support for a client. Uh, some supervisor. 
Supervisor, okay. supervisor in, in, uh, he uh, released the working the uh, personal, the checks, uh, checks. control, the, uh, the controls the uh, what. Uh, we said we clients and elaborate elaborated quotations that the clients and the meeting with personal the size so pregunta personal si hay alguna venta grande meets personal if there's a sell Meet personal that the dogs come for the If there is a cell, meet personal is a cell. Perfect. Okay, so Eliana, hello. Al otro compañero le estaba poniendo, teacher, que no nos escuchaba. Ok. So, Ileana, tell me. Uh, what's the people that work in your company? What different people or occupations are in your company? Uh, the people company in... Current, uh, uh, customer service. Okay. Um, guest attention. Guest. Uh, the guest attention. Uh, waiters. Um, okay. Reception. Okay. Uh, Maze. Service spa. Okay. Are there maids? Maids means uh, Sorry. Uh, mukama. Maids is, 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 is spa. No, that's mukama. Maids. Ma ma yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Hmm. Mayra was connecting and she got lost. Well, let's see. What about you, Cesar? Tell me. Somebody else from your company, not you. Uh, okay. In, in my company, how uh, technicians? Okay. Uh, there is re, re, there is a uh, repair and maintenance at industrial equipment. Uh, equipment. Uh, equipment. <laughs> okay. Industrial equipment. Uh, com, uh, como como se dice como. Like. Oh, oh, for example, for example, the the. Y montacargas, eso sí, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, montacargas. Lifters, algo así. I'll try to uh, remember. No, it's a fourth lift. Yes, it's a fourth lift. Okay. Uh, elevators, uh, hydraulic platforms, and uh, uh, techless. Techless or? Forklift. Okay. 
Tecla, the big one, or the one that, the little one they call uh, Senorita? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, you said Teclet. Teclet, there are big ones and small yes. ones. Yes. The small ones here in El Salvador, some people call them Senorita. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, well, uh, to uh, uh, workshop manager, uh, he supervises the, the repair work. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Sosa. Now, Jenny. Hello. Tell me the occupation of somebody else from your company. Uh, uh, management, gerente general. Uh, general manager. General manager, uh, sales manager, technician. Okay, uh, describe for... one. Yes. Describe the activities from one of them. Uh, describe. Uh, sales manager uh, is attention the clients. Okay. Uh, visit of visit. the companies uh, of the mol mills, los molinos. Visitan los molinos eh, y a uh, compañías de companies de control de calidad. Quality control. Quality control. Eh, prepare price quotation. Quotation. Yes, perfect. Eh, prepare report of the sales. Right. Uh, uh, prepare, uh, he sent emails. Okay. Uh, only teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Marcos, please. Hi, teacher. Tell uh, me about in in my company. Um, software software support technical. Okay. No sé si lo pronuncio bien. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Technical installer of security camera, 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 okay. eh, camera, camera, perfect, eh, camera, eh, projects. Supervisor and in computer equipment. Uh, computer. Sale. Repeat, teacher, please. Computer. Computer equipment. Uh, Only. Perfect. Excellent. Hello, Carla. How are you? Wow, a 
of that. Carla, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Very good. Great. Please, Carla, tell me about somebody else's job in your company. Not you. Somebody different. Um, my company is Computer Store Valdez. Okay. Um, and repair uh, equipment. Um, um, diagnostic equipment. Um, yes. Thank you, Carla. Okay, let's see. Mm, Mayra, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, everybody, good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Mayra, uh, what's the name of your company? The company is... Um, the service? No, the name of the company. Um, the company is Grupo Satellite. Okay. You are an accountant. Yes? Yes. Okay. Tell me the occupation of somebody else from your company. Mm, the service for computer okay. and the system, the system information. Okay. So, let's see. Software. Software, perfect, thank you. Now, let's see, we are going to change a little bit the topic. Let's see, um, Andres, tell me please, what are the dates of the week? Hi, teacher. What are the dates of the week? Monday, Tuesday, it is, it is Friday. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Cesar, can you tell me? All the days in the week? Yes. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thursday. 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 Perfect. Now, pick one. Escoja uno. Um, Sunday. Sunday, perfect. Carla, tell me, what do you do on Sunday? Uh, tell me, Carla, what do you do on Sundays? ¿Qué hago los domingos? Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly that. What do you do on Sundays? ¿Qué hace un domingo? A regular Sunday. I do a sleeping. And what else? ¿Qué más? What else? I do cooking with my family. Como decir, el único día que descanso. ¿Cómo se dice? The only day I can rest. Mm. 
The only day I don't work. I can rest. Or you can say the only day I am able to rest. When you say I am able, it means yo uh, soy capaz. That's the meaning. Okay. So when you say the only day I am able to rest, you are saying el único día que puedo descansar. Okay, let's see. Let me share with you the next exercise we are going to work with. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Carla, please pick one day of the week. Repeat, pick. teacher. Please pick or choose a coja one day of the week. Saturday. Thank you. Saturday. Cesar, what do you do on Saturday? Okay, uh, I, I prefer the breakfast. I uh, shopping uh, in the market. Uh, I play with my daughters. Uh, I uh, clean, <laughs> clean, clean my house. <laughs> I uh, uh, the other the other office. Uh, I uh, wash the the car. I wash the car. Mm -hmm. Help. Around the house. Yeah, help around the house. Yes, remember, help around the house means ayudar en casa o hacer parte del quehacer del hogar. Okay. That's okay. what you mean when you say help around the house. Okay. Okay. So let's see, Jenny. Hello. What do you do on Saturday? On Saturday? Yes. Uh, I take a shower. I prepare breakfast. Uh, I go to the supermarket. I go to the supermarket. I go to the supermarket. Uh, prepare the lunch. Okay. Uh, later, later uh, I play. Uh, I play with my family. Juego de mesa o nos o vemos películas. Board o? games. Board games. Board games. Yes, board games. Um, I board games with my family. Uh, I watch TV, uh, películas, movies. I like to watch Netflix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only. You like to. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Tell me one day of the week, please. Uh, Monday. Monday. Okay, let's Monday. see. Uh, Andres, what do you do on Mondays? 
That's the working. Okay. The meeting and class. Before the class on English, the, I received a um, class of philosophy. Philosophy? One day. Oh, cool. What are you studying? But uh, they began the initial the, the English, but uh, no. Uh, okay. Philosophy, that's interesting. It is very interesting. Now, let's see. Let's go to next exercise, guys. Let me see, where is it? Right here. Okay. Now, exercise three, page 28, write six activities you do in the box, my daily routines, and six about a partner in my partner's daily routines. Okay, guys, right now, I'll give you one minute for you to write down six activity you do in your daily routine. You got one minute right now. Start writing six activities you do. Tenemos un minuto para escribir seis actividades que ustedes hacen en su daily routine. Hurry up, hurry up. De cualquier día, teacher. Any day, any given day. When you say any given day, it means cualquier día. Okay, you ready? Yes? Yes. Ready? Yes. Great. Eliana, you ready? I think so. Yes, teacher. So? Okay, perfect. Now, we are going to go to the breakout rooms. You are going to go straight out telling your classmates, this is what I do. And you're going to enumerate the six activities, like fast. Vamos a ir al breakout room. Y usted va a decir la actividad que usted hace rápido, the six activities you do, okay? You're going to tell your classmates. Your classmates got to be taking notes. Okay, now, in this case, we are going to go against the clock. Aquí vamos a ir contra el reloj. You got two minutes for taking down notes of what your classmates do. Usted va a tener dos minutos para, to take down notes, para anotar what your classmates do. Lo que hace su compañero, okay? okay. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Perfect. Yes, ready. I'm going to divide you right now. Remember, two minutes.
Marcos, you're assigned with Mayra. Okay. Can you join in? Puede entrar? Hoy Mayra no ha entrado. Lo he reasignado a otro grupo. ¿Le apareció la invitación para unirse? A mí no, teacher. No me aparece la invitación. ¿Ahora? No, teacher, no aparece la invitación. Ok, wait a minute. I check. I check email and I respond. It doesn't appear for you. No le aparece. No, teacher, no me aparece nada. Solo nosotros dos. Ok, y tiene que aparecer una invitación que dice unirse o join. Sí, no, pero no me aparece. En todas las anteriores que he estado haciendo, sí me aparece para unirme, ¿verdad? Join. Veamos ahora. No, no, no me aparece porque en las otras veces de una sola vez me da el mensaje. Y yo le doy para unirme, pero ahí no me aparece más nada. Ok. Denos dos minutos, ya vamos a volver acá. Eh, and I will take it into an account. Perfect. Please just be patient Perfect. a second. Ok. Perfect. Yes. Lunch or dinner? Or dinner. Ok. That's it. Uh, my friends in I visited with cooking everybody for his friend okay guys you ready okay let's see uh, Marcos, tell me your activities, the six activities, please. The six. And on Sunday, I eh, me levanto, teacher, como sería, I, I get wake, up. I get, I get up. up. I get up. Me levanto tarde. I get up late. late. I get up late. Eh, play video game eh, I watch movie este, lunch I eh, have lunch I have lunch I sleep eh, I shower shower de, 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 me baño shower así, I así es. take a shower I take a shower. Okay, shower, shower. Shower, shower. Perfect, okay. thank you. Let's see. Uh, Ileana, please tell me three of your activities and three of one of your classmates. The she partner, verdad? Yep, your partner. She... She she get she get five a.m. She get up at five a.m. Uh, she she attend to her clients the rest the, of the day. Clients. Clients the rest of the day. 
only teacher. Okay, what about you? Um, maybe my day. I, I get up uh, 8 a.m. I breakfast 9 a.m. I have breakfast. I have breakfast 9 a.m. I clean the house. Okay. Mm, uh, I watch TV. Perfect. Um, I listen to music. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, Carlos, tell me the activities, please. Uh, why is the dog? I go to the supermarket. Okay. I watch TV. Perfect. I make quotes. Okay. I make deliveries. Perfect. Do you visit clients every day? Mm, that's the question. Esa era la pregunta. Okay, but that's fine, Carlos. That's perfect. Now let's see, Carla, tell me your activities. Um, I begin working at 9 a.m. Um, perform a daily report of the warehouses. Um, prepare equip equipment for processing. I receive merchandise at uh, 11 a.m. Merchandise. Uh, merchandise. I have my lunch at 1 p.m. And I make inventories. Okay, at 3 so are your classmates' activities. And the routines of Caesar. Perfect. Uh, Caesar's routine. Ah, Caesar routine. The Caesar routines. Uh, he wakes up early. Um, he sends emails clients. To clients. To clients. And he visits possible clients. Client. And clients. And he plays with her daughter. His his daughter. His daughter, his daughter. Okay. And he takes English class. Perfect. Thank you very much, Carla. Mayra, hello. Hello. Tell me your activities. I sleep until late. Okay. I work. I watch movie with my sister. I have a meeting first thing in the morning. I deliver back report and okay. I go out to run on the park. Okay, excellent, thank you. Now let's see who's missing Jenny, hello Jenny. Hello. Tell me, please. Tell me your partner's activities. Uh, my partner is Andres. He wakes up six o'clock. He watch Netflix series. He watches. He watches Netflix series on series. Sunday series. Series. On Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, he receives business administration class. Okay. Uh, he cleans the clothes. The what? Uh, he cleans the clothes. He limpia su ropa, me. Clothes. Clothes. Oh, he cleans the clothes. He cleans the house. Uh, Perfect. Falta uno. Saturday okay. o Saturday on Sunday, 
he cooks lunch or dinner for his friends uh, and visit. Okay, good. So he cooks, that's nice. Anna, hello, Anna. Hello. Tell me, please, your activities. I, I will eat a five. I wake uh, up. I wake up. <laughs> I wake. I wake up at uh, five. Okay. I go my work uh, uh, at eight. At, at eight, I work in um, uh, the Sheraton president. Okay. I I leave my work at at. That's it. Okay, great. Thank you. Now let's see, Vicente, Vicente. Vicente, you are very quiet today. Tell me, please. Hello. Tell me your partner's activity. Okay. And my partner is Carlos. Okay, tell me about Carlos. He, go, he goes to the supermarket. He watches TV. Also, he makes quotes. He is clients every day. And he makes deliveries and he washes his dogs. Okay, perfect. Now, what about you? Tell me your activity. Okay, and I send price quotation. I go, okay. go out on my motorcycle in Sunday. Great. And I see a, an important soccer game. Okay, I watch. I watch. I watch an important soccer game. For example, okay. uh, El de hoy. <laughs> today. Today, for example, today. Okay. And, today. Uh, I make schedule 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 of the next schedule work of the next week okay. and I call my clients. Okay. I schedule next week activities. I schedule for next week activities. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, who's missing? I think okay. everybody participated, no? Yes? Okay, now let's continue. Okay, guys. Verbal forms. Remember, please, when we are working with affirmative sentences in simple present, I like, you like, he, she, or it likes, we like, you like, they like. Remember, when we talk about he, she, or it, we add S or ES to the verb. Negative, the negative form, I don't like, you don't like, he, she, or it doesn't like, we don't like, you don't like, they don't like. Interrogative, do I like, do you like, does she, does he, does it like, do we like, do you like, do they like. Now, let's see. Before doing that other part of the exercise. Now, think about three things, three different things you do not like, okay? Three things you don't like. Think about them. Now, one minute, write them down. Write down three things you do not like, okay? Escriba tres cosas que no le gustan. Thank you. 
Remember, write down three things you do not like right now because you're going to share it with your classmates. Ready? Kids are ready? Jenny? Remember, it's simple. Like uh, in my case, I don't like, um, I don't like uh, making PowerPoint presentation. I don't like to make PowerPoint presentations, but uh, let me see what else. I don't like uh, to eat pupusa. And I don't like to, I don't like to listen to reggaeton. I hate that. And that's it, yeah, me neither. Okay, you Teacher. ready? Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice eh, rellenos de pacaya? A mí no me gustan los rellenos de pacaya. Entonces, ¿cómo le puedo decir? In this case, exactly like that. En este caso, así. Because you cannot translate no, I that. Don't, I don't like rellenos de pacaya. Oh, man. I love them. Pero... I... <laughs> Love them, me encantan. Okay, now let's. Uh, oh, let's see. That's uh, that word is bitter, amargo, bitter. Okay, thank you. No problem. There is also sour, acido. Okay, now I'm going to bring you to the breakout rooms. You are going to tell your classmates those three things. You got one minute to do that. Just one minute. Vamos al breakout room y usted tiene un minuto para decirle a sus compañeros esas tres cosas que a usted no le gustan. ¿Ok? Ready? One minute. Ok, I'm going to take you right now. Let me see. Screen. Uh, people that screen. Okay. Uh, I don't like traffic. I don't like people that screen, and I don't like anona fruits. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't like to sleep late. To sleep late. Uh, I don't like uh, reggaeton. <laughs> And I don't like the music. Yes. I music. Uh, and I don't like cats. 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 Gatos. Hi, princess. <laughs> Hi, princess. <laughs> eh, la uh, última que me hizo. I don't like cats. Ah, okay. La primera, ¿cuál dijiste, César? Ah, I don't. Ah, Marcos. Te digo lo que no me gusta. Ah, okay. Ya lo escuché, Carla. La, la, la escuché, el tráfico, la gente que grita y la nona, ¿verdad? 
Ajá, y a tú, a ti, a tú. La, 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 la primera mía, Marcos, era I don't like to sleep late. O sea, dormirme tarde. Okay. Sleep late. Ok. You still got one minute to go back to the main room. Marcos. Ok. Eh, la mía. Hi, everybody. Everybody. Again. Hi, Carla. Again. Again, Carla, people who scream. Repeat, please. People who scream. People who scream. Okay, okay. It's just that we don't, we can say people that scream, but you are specific if you say people who scream. ¿Cómo se escribe, teacher? I send it to your chat. Doesn't appear? Okay, and remember, please, scream, uh, well, in this case, we must be careful because scream is equal to uh, gritar, yell, it's also gritar, cry, can also be gritar and shout it's also gritar four different ones teacher a question yes that cry in is uh, Yes, but uh, do you remember this uh, expression? Uh, cry for help? In that case, when you say cry for help, you are saying gritar pidiendo ayuda. Okay, that's when you use cry, when you refer to ask for help. Yell, it uh, is when you are mal, you yell to people. Okay, when you are angry, you yell. Recuerden, you yell, cuando usted está molesto, you yell to people. Scream is for fear. Usted scream de miedo. Es cuando usted grita por temor. That's scream. And shout es simplemente alzar la voz. You get the difference? Okay, now let's see. Carla, please tell me the activities of your classmate that he or she does not like. Um, Caesar. Okay. He doesn't like sleep late. Okay. Uh, he doesn't like reggaeton music. For real. Okay. okay, cool. He doesn't like cats. Okay, perfect. Cats. Man, I like cats. 
Anyway, let's see. Jenny, tell me. Hello. Tell me your classmates' activities. Uh, I work again with Andres. He doesn't okay. like hot. He like he doesn't like hot weather. He doesn't okay. like to wash clothes. He okay. doesn't like. He doesn't like the Real Madrid team. Okay, you can say wash clothes okay. or you can say do the laundry. Do the laundry. Yes, you can say do the laundry. He doesn't like and to do the laundry. To do. Okay. Hey, perfect, Jenny. Thank you. G Mayra, tell me, please, your classmates' activities. He doesn't like dance. Okay, to dance. He doesn't like eat onions and okay. he doesn't like to dry when it rains. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Vicente, please. Yes. Your classmates' activities. Okay. She doesn't like traffic. She doesn't to make account receivable call and she doesn't spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see uh, Andres. Thank you. Tell me your classmates' activity. Yeah that Jenny, the, uh, she's, uh, that wash trust, ¿cómo es lavar trastos? Do the dishes. Do this, the dishes, uh, ¿cómo se dice lavar trastes? Do the dishes. Así, nada más. Yes. Do the dishes. Yes. Okay. Uh, she don't like the pizza. She doesn't like pizza. She doesn't like pizza. Jenny, you don't like pizza? <laughs> I don't sad. like pizza. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't, I don't, don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Doesn't <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> We, uh, that shit not the reggaeton music. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Before anything else happens, uh, Carlos Alberto Menendez? Present. Thank you. Mayra Eliana Cordeto? Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios. Present. Thank you. Teacher. Maybelline Michelle. No here. Erika del Carmen. No here. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. She was. She was in class. Ella estuvo. Jose Reinaldo was all around. Claudia Patricia. Hello, Claudia. Can you say present? Present. Thank you. Andres Alberto Rellena. Present. Thank you. Cesar Humberto López Moreno. Present. Jenny Lisette Escobar. Present. Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Daniel Absent. Mayra Lizette Valladares. 
present. Perfect. Marcos Ivan Martinez. Present. Thank you. Maybelline Janita. Carla Yvonne. Present. Thank you, Carla. And Julio Alonso. No, here. Okay, guys. Uh, just a point before anything else happens. Uh, sometimes I have shut off my camera so you can hear me better because sometimes it affects the, the the communication and I have had problems with sign out today. Okay. Por si no se me escuchó bien, eh, eh, por momentos desconecto la cámara porque si no, no me logran escuchar a algunos de ustedes. Creo que estamos teniendo problemitas de señal. Es eh, debido a eso que por momentos queda solamente el logo, ¿ok? Pero no piensen que me he ido. I am here just that it's for you to listen to me better, ¿ok? Para que me puedan escuchar mejor. Yes, it is raining. It affects. So, let's see. Today, well, guys, this week, remember, we have been working just with simple present, working with daily routine. Remember, please, that the simple present is used to express facts, routine, habits. Okay? Remember also, the affirmative form of the simple present as is or es to the verb when we are talking about he, she, or it. Remember also, the simple present uses as an auxiliary the verb do or does. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. That's it, better. Now, remember, the simple present uses as an auxiliary the, the verb do or does. When do we use do? You use do for I, you, we, they. You use does for he, she, or it. When you use an auxiliary, the main verb of the sentence goes in its simple form. Cuando utilizamos el auxiliar, el verbo principal va en su forma simple, in the base form, okay? For the negative sentence, you can have do not or the contraction don't. Does not or the contraction doesn't. In the interrogative form of the simple present, the auxiliary goes at the beginning of the sentence, like, as an example, uh, do you listen to music? Do you dance? Do you play soccer? Do you practice a sport? Does she cook? Does she attend meeting? Does he listen to the class? Remember, we are talking about routines, daily routines also. When you talk about the activities you do during the day, you are talking about your daily routines or perhaps your schedule. Remember the, please, the pronunciation of that word because I know it is difficult for some of you. Recordemos la pronunciación de esa palabra. Sé que para algunos es un poquito difícil. Schedule. Okay. Now, eh, oh, before I forget, guys, remember you need to do the midterm exam. 
Recuerden que tenemos que hacer el midterm exam. ¿Ok? And you need to do the activity for the activity, uh, the homework number 10, but you also have to do the midterm exam. And that's today, the latest tomorrow. El midterm exam, por favor, hoy o a más tardar mañana. I am going to be checking your grades and passing it uh, to the list. I have to upload those grades. Para que se me escuche bien, les recuerdo el midterm exam. Bueno, todas las actividades hasta este día tendríamos que estar terminando, llegando hasta el midterm. A más tardar mañana. Los que tengamos actividades pendientes, por favor, hagámoslas, porque yo el día de mañana voy a comenzar a pasar notas de nuevo. And some of you are still missing activities. So, if you are, please, let's do them. And the same, if you got a low grade, si tiene una nota baja, you can redo the exercise. Puede, re, puede hacer el ejercicio nuevo. And that's going to help you, because remember, it's practicing. It's not just a matter of getting a 10. No se trata solo de tener el 100 o un 10. What you need is to practice. And that's good for you. Remember, in order to improve in the English class, you always need to keep on practicing all the time. That is important. Okay? Let's see. Before uh, we continue. Any questions about the week class? Alguna pregunta acerca de las clases de la semana? Please, this is the moment. Any question? Doubt? Dudas? Question. Tell me. Las tareas. Eh, hasta que hasta que número vamos yo creo que ya las hice todas oh wow let me see Carla are you sure que me hagan las Because... mías lo que no he... los foros que no, no no los he trabajado but the homeworks yes and the midterm las que dicen homework y el que dice midterm Carla No. Teacher, ok. Yes. Podría compartir al grupo la parte de las tareas. Uno. Y la otra es, no sé si podemos entregarlas el domingo. En mi caso, porque mañana voy a trabajar todo el día. Entonces no voy a tener chance. Me too. Me too. Ok. Just let me know when you have them done. Solamente me avisan, por favor, cuando ya están hechas. So I can check the grades and upload it. Así yo puedo revisar la nota y subirla. ¿Ok? Y si alguien tiene dudas con qué tareas le faltan o en cuál va, escríbame. I mean, you can text me in private and I can help you. ¿Ok? Because I, I have access to all your grades. Any questions? Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. One question. Le voy a hablar en español. Yeah, eh, perfect. A mí me pasó que adelanté unas tareas, por, por tiempo adelanté unas tareas, pero quizá en la plataforma hay que estar haciendo las tareas correspondientes a las clases, ¿verdad? Porque las preguntas como que no eran quizás las que las de esa tarea y después revisé y primero las tenía todas buenas y después tenía unas malas porque ya eran otras preguntas, ya no eran las mismas que yo había contestado. Ok, that's kind of weird. But Pero quizás no por eso es que adelanté, adelanté tareas. Yeah, but some of you have already done that. Let's see. You are Vicente. In the case of, let me see just a minute. Uh, Ana Maria Palacios has got a uh, hundred in the first one, eighty in the second one. 
Andrés Alberto, 100. Carlos Menéndez, 72 in the second week. César Humberto, 80 in the second week. Daniel Arturo, who just 20 in this week. Uh, Erika is missing. Jennifer, Jenny are just missing two days. Carla, Carla. The first week, you haven't done everything. La primera semana le falta. And second week, also, because right now, uh, remember, in the grading, you need a minimum of 80. En las notas necesitamos un mínimo de 80. Minimum. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry, Carla. Later, I will let you know your specific grade. Más tarde le voy a hacer las notas. Because in this case, I guess it's you have not done an exercise. Creo que en su caso es que le falta algún ejercicio que no ha hecho. Creo que en su caso le falta algún ejercicio que no ha hecho, por eso la nota está un poco baja. Creo que le faltan dos. From the first week and from the second week. La parte para que me explique. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, guys. If anything, please let me know. Okay? I know it's been like complex today with the connection, but please, if anything, text me or you can text me directly, you can chat with me and I'll be here for you. So, uh, let me see what else. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Sorry for the connection problems. I have class tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, Monday. Monday. <laughs> my bad. Oh. My bad. My bad. Monday. Monday. Yes, on Monday. <laughs> yeah, you were like, no. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Carla. Ah, oh, she left.